Oh, oh. All right. A good eye looking out for this loading dock bay, Mickey. Thanks. It's no problem. I'm just glad that we had this giant pile of bananas to hide behind. You and me both. Look, they're tinkering with the drove. All right, come on over ah, here. This is so cool. <laughs> this is awesome. Stop. Fable will get you for this. No, please don't. 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 Wait till Dad sees what we found. I have a bad feeling about their dad. I'm not sure why. Looks like we have to wait back until the children leave to get the drove back. Well, uh, while we're waiting, maybe you could, uh, tell us another story. Oh, yes, please, another story. Uh, are you sure? I mean, we, we do have to be quiet. Just tell us a quiet story, it's not a big deal. Yeah, I'd love that. All right, but we haven't even done the theme song yet. Don't you think we should do the theme song, then the story? Oh, yeah, totally. Hit it. Cyrus and Connor arrived back. The stars shined brightly, unconcealed. They stared through the black at something gleaming in the nearby field. Cyrus went to check it out, but it floated up off the ground. Connor gave a shout, and Cyrus ran at the sound. The chase began, they ran and ran, but Cyrus fell and gave a yell. Connor turned back and jumped in the way, but that shiny machine took his life away. With one electric shock, his heart began to slow to a stop. Sirius held him for a few, and he told her, I love you. Connor slipped away, and a storm came that day. But from Cirrus' eyes alone came the thunder's loud groans, and the raindrops wailed and bemoaned Cirrus Jones, who was all alone. This may seem quick, but I tell it that way, to make you feel what Cirrus felt that day. The adversity the angel had promised of her was beginning, all in a blur. And that's how life tends to go doesn't dawdle. It's not slow. Make sure you're ready like Connor was. It's the end of this poem. And now we pause. That's so sad. Yeah, kind of. Kind of got me a little teary-eyed there, too. Chris! <gasps> what in the world? What are you doing down here? What is going on? I guess you should the loading dock or something horrible. Uh, yeah, that totally, um, um, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> don't worry, it's gonna be totally evil, man. I don't believe it. What is this you don't hear? Well, oh, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Well done, kids. You've captured Fable Peregrine's drone. Yeah, we know. We thought it was pretty cool and that we could play with it. Play with it? <laughs> no, no. We have much better things to do with this. What's wrong, Fable? Who is that? Who's that hairy monkey man? Are you kidding? You don't know who that is? It is my arch nemesis. Killerman Kong. Oh no, that sounds really bad. <laughs> Tales from Rhyme and Space is brought to you by Family Productions. To check out more, go to givesendgo.com slash family or visit family.org. That's F-A-M-L-I-N-G dot org. There you can support and keep up with the ongoing project.
Oh, Joshua, must we really have an outro like this on every episode? All right. Thank you all so much for listening. See you in Rhyme and Speed!